Good morning, dear friends. Greetings in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. This is another beautiful new day, the first day of the rest of our life. And so before we begin this day with activities, let us sit at the feet of Jesus and listen to his word and listen to his voice. Fill our ears and our minds with his voice. Today's meditation is taken from Daniel chapter 3. The title of today's meditation is Our God is a God who saves us in the fire. Daniel chapter 3 is a record of our God who saves us not from the fire but he saves us in the fire. I am sure all of my listeners are familiar with this chapter and with the story. Uh, blessings of a fiery persecution. That is what we get from this chapter. Blessings of a fiery persecution. The first thing I want you to notice in this chapter is God we serve is able to um, save us. He is able to save us. At Daniel's request, his three friends were appointed by the king of, to positions of great responsibility in Babylonian administration. Daniel served in the king's court and Daniel may not have been present in the city of Babylon when this incident happened when the three Hebrew children were challenged and how they were persecuted for disobeying the king's command and uh, Daniel may have been on a tour to other provinces these three Hebrew young men were fearless in the face of the threats of the king of Babylon, Nebuchadnezzar. They did not allow themselves to be intimidated. Neither were they threatened into compromising their personal convictions. On the other hand, they gave very bold and unhesitating witness to their allegiance to the one true God and fixed their eyes on him who was their strength and refuge according to Psalm number 46 verse 1. They also knew that the wrath of God against sin is worse than the wrath of a man or human wrath. They expressed their unconditional love and faith, complete trust and loyalty to God when they were challenged by the enemies of these Hebrew children. They possessed a faith and trusted God and obeyed him regardless of the consequences. Now we often focus on our deliverance, the miracle of deliverance, and celebrate it more than uh, other important aspect of our relationship with God and our experiences, which is obedience and the persevering faith in God, not the experience of deliverance, give a true evidence of a biblical faith. Always remember, very often we make this mistake. We trusted God and He through a miraculous action brought us great blessings of deliverance. So instead of focusing on 
what really caused that miracle we focus on the miracle itself and celebrate it but what does god want he wants us to remember how this miracles happen it is through obedience and uh, and and, and uh, uh, the uh, trust that we exercise in our god that brings us any blessing from god and so before we celebrate the deliverance itself let us celebrate the source of blessings which is god himself and what enables us to experience that miracle is our obedience and our unquestionable trust in this god regardless of uh, any other problem and uh, now let us look closely into their persecution now what is persecution persecution is a pain inflicted and what did persecution do to these three hebrew children young men they were servants of god they knew only one true living holy god the number one thing, there are three things to observe. The first things to observe is this. The fire meant to uh, burn these children, these young men, uh, or loosened their bonds. They were thrown into the fire with the intention of a of, of, uh, of burning them and thus destroying them. And the same fire which the enemies intended or uh, thought would destroy them actually loosened their bondage, their bonds. That's what happened. And uh, their bonds were lost and they were free. What a miracle! What a mighty God we have. And my friends, the fiery trials that the devil brings into our lives, which sometimes God allows these trials to come, that fire which is meant to destroy our faith and destroy our Christian life, actually can free us from bondages that really troubles our Christian life. You know, though we are free from sin, but nevertheless, we find ourselves very often that we have a certain bondages and we need to be free. And sometimes God allows these fiery trials to come into our lives so that our bonds will be broken and loose and we are set to free from these bondages that binds us and that destroy us. And the second thing to observe is this. They were not hurt. These three Hebrew young men, servants of God, who were bound together and thrown into the fire. And remember, the fire at that time for this purpose were increased. The heat of the fire was increased sevenfold. And it was so, the, it was so powerful, so terrible, that uh, all consuming fire, that the soldiers who carried these three Hebrew children bound up together and threw them into the fire these soldiers, though they were outside of the fiery uh, furnace, the flames licked them up and they died. But these three servants of God who trusted in him, when not only the fire loosed them and set them free from their uh, bondages, and they were never hurt at all. 
and uh, they came out of the fire unscathed not hurt not even one hair damaged and my friends that is when we sing what a mighty God we serve what a mighty God he is beyond description and beyond any comprehension this mighty God and that reminds me of what Paul said in uh, Romans chapter 8 I found myself quoting this very often our God is able to make all things bad or good anything that happened to us uh, to work together for our good and that includes fiery persecution and my friends these are days of persecution that the Christians the world over faced but our God is still the same and the third thing to observe is uh, this they were walking in the midst of this fire they were calm composed and uh, joyful as they were walking in the fire the Lord shall the Bible says in the book of Psalms the Lord shall preserve thy, thy, thy uh, preserve thee and the Lord shall preserve thy soul who the Lord which no one else and no other power here on earth can do it the God of Daniel Shadrach Meshach and Abednego he is our God he has not changed and how about you my friend do you have the same faith trust obedience and loyalty to our God do you have the faith to trust God with your life like these Hebrew young men who are the servants of God they were thrown into the fire And uh, before they were thrown, they were standing before the king of Babylon, Nebuchadnezzar, the mighty king. And fearlessly and without any hesitation and uh, without any compromise, they confessed their allegiance to the one true God and fixed their eyes on him who was their strength and their refuge. Regardless of uh, the, uh, the worst consequences, they express their unconditional love and faith, complete trust and loyalty to God. They said, even if our God does not deliver us, we will not bow before your image. What a courage and what a boldness. That is why I say they possessed such a faith and trusted God and obeyed Him regardless of consequences. Do you possess that kind of faith and that kind of confidence and that kind of loyalty to your God? The facing death, looking into the eyes of death itself, <clears throat> you declare this even if our God does not deliver us still we do not bow before you we rather burn than bow before you 
Do you have that kind of faith? And my friends, that is loyalty to our God. And if we have that kind of unflinching, unquestionable love and faith and trust and obedience to this God who is worthy, then he can experience the miracle of deliverance, not from the fire, but in the fire. It is there God himself came down and he began to walk in the fire with these three, three Hebrew servants of God. Hallelujah. What a mighty God. This is our God. At the same time, remember, in order to experience this, this should be our kind of faith. The kind that these three Hebrew children expressed and showed. And what a testimony it was. Nebuchadnezzar had to bow before this God and to declare there is no God other than the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Why? These three servants of God remain true. No matter what the consequences was, what the price they had to pay, they honored their God by remaining and expressing their uncompromising allegiance to him who alone is worthy because this is the way he loved us this is what he did when he came down to die for our behalf in our behalf and i pray that it's today shall be a day of victory for us there may be temptation there may be persecution and remember persecution is 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 a uh, is a pain inflicted on us. And even if you have to face it, remember the three Hebrew servants of God and stand for Jesus no matter what the consequences may be. For this, may the Holy Spirit grant you wisdom and grace and boldness and courage. And you exalt the name of the Lord, he will exalt you before your enemies. May the Lord bless you as you remain faithful to him who has called you. And may the Holy Spirit strengthen you and give you wisdom to deal with situations like this. Unafraid to stand for Jesus. May the Lord raise an army from India and in all the countries, an army of Jesus, which is called the army of the cross. Such people will exalt the name of the Lord. May God grant you that courage. Father, in the name of Jesus, we commend ourselves to you and to your care and to your grace as you do whatever you please to do with us may we remain faithful and loyal to you and confess your name before even our enemies thank you in jesus name amen people god is looking for such people will you be one of them this is a great day. Enjoy this day. Amen.